Hello, welcome to the Abdians plug integration demo. Here uh, I have a Java application. This Java application generates some logs and metrics. The logs are being forwarded to Splunk and the metrics are being captured in AppD. So when this integration is enabled, you can see a button, view logs in Splunk. So this button is available for application, PT, for a tier, and also for a node. Let's go to the BT and uh, click on the button. This will open Splunk. And what happens is uh, the search is filtered by the app name and also by the BT ID. So you'll only see the logs from this particular BT and from this particular application. You can repeat the same with a tier and node and also an application. And that's it. That is the simple integration between AppD and Splunk today. So the next question is how do we achieve this? That is pretty straightforward. So go to your uh, profile and click on administration. This is the profile or the settings icon in the older controller. So go to integration and go to Splunk. Here you just enable the integration. And once you enable the integration, you'll have to provide a username and a password. And the question is, how do we get this username and password? It's actually a, just a normal Splunk account. So go to your uh, Splunk admin, log into Splunk as an admin user, then go to settings and users. And here, just create a new simple user. Add in a name, a password, and select create role for this user so that uh, we'll have a dedicated role for the user and click on save. I already have a user, so my user is uh, demo1. This user is assigned the role user demo1. Now let's look at the role. What are the capabilities or permissions that need to be assigned to our role and hence the user? Let's open the role, go to capabilities, and go to show, show selected. So here I have search, collect, list and collect, sorry, RT search. So these are the capabilities that you need to assign to your role. Once you assign these eight capabilities, save it and that's it. And make sure uh, that uh, this role is assigned to your user. Then go back to the controller, enable the integration, add the username, password, and the URL for your Splunk Cloud or your Splunk URL, and then add a connection name and then click on save. And that's it the integration will be enabled. And you can see the view logs button. If uh, some of your applications are generating logs, here is a Node.js application with the same. So the next question is how, how do I configure my app to generate logs inside of Splunk? Here I have a Java application and this application uses log4j. We support log4j, log4j2 and uh, logback today. And to enable this integration, you just have to add these metadata variables in the log for the config. Node ID, BT ID, and the request code, and save it. And also, there's one more thing. You need to enable this environment variable or JVM variable. So pass this uh, variable to your uh, JVM and the integration will be enabled. So the variable is app dynamics enable log metadata enrichment equals true. That's it. And for Node.js, right? We support this for Node.js as well. So first, what you have to do is uh, we support the Winston logger. And in the logger, specify the metadata, node ID, request code, and BT ID. And then when you launch your Node.js application, set the environment variable, log metadata enrichment equals true, and launch your uh, Node.js application. That's it. This will enable the Splunk integration. So the next question is, how do we configure the Splunk forwarder? So today, today we support uh, the Splunk universal forwarder. And to configure it, just, just go to splunk.com, download the universal forwarder and install it on your machine. Once it's installed, right, you need to install your license, install the Splunk license, and that's it. 
that will be the installation and once the installation is complete you just have to configure your inputs.conf file so go to your uh, inputs.conf location and specify the location of the logs the index and the metadata variables so just add uh, the name of the application and the tier name so this is absolutely required for the integration to work app the app name and uh, tier name both of them are required repeat the same with uh, node.js application save your inputs.conf uh, file and restart your splunk server that's it and the integration will be ready from splunk as well from the splunk forwarder once that is done there's one final step remain remaining go to splunk go to settings and server settings and ip allow list here you need to whitelist your ip address so that your application can uh, actually forward logs to the splunk cloud or your splunk on-premise instance so add uh, your ip address here HEC access, indexer access, search or API access, and that's it. Your application is generating logs. The application logger is also configured. It's, it's adding the correct metadata to the logs. The Splunk forwarder is also configured. Right? And that completes the integration. And the forwarder will, of course, uh, forward uh, all the logs to Splunk. And navigate to your controller, go to your application, Node.js or Java application and yeah go to a bt or a tier or an over and click on uh, you will automatically see the logs filtered by tier node or bt you can see hello world from node.js so this is the log we are generating here hello world from node.js and uh, hello world from java and that's it that is the integration between uh, splunk and apt Thank you.